Hey guys and welcome back to this first impression of the Lavender Violets 20 piece 2020 most wanted soak off gel nail polish kit that was a mouthful. I spotted this on Amazon a few weeks back and it caught my eye immediately with its striking selection of colours, five star reviews and great price. So the kit comes with 18 5ml colours including 12 cream colours and then 6 glitters. Also, you get your full size 8mm base coat and 8mm no wipe top coat, all for $24.99. Now, you will need either a UV or lead light to cure the polishes, but the nice thing about this kit is there is so much variety endless options, nail polish colour options and you don't need to use an extra product to wipe off the sticky top coat layer afterwards. As well as this there is five other rainbow gel kits available to choose from within this line which I will link down below. They are all around the same price but for now let's get right into the first impression. With regards to instructions on how to use this, it does have some on the back of the box and just some guidelines and how to remove. You can also visit their website, it says, and as well as this, it does have a step-by-step -step picture guide on Amazon. I also do have a video on how I do my gel nails, so I will link that down below. But as far as my nails, what I've done to prep them is, I don't know if you can see that, but first of all, I've filed them. I did remove my previous gel that I had on here. So I filed with a 180 nail file, and then I went ahead and buffed my nails with this buffer. This is a 100 slash 180 grit, so 100's on the one side and then 180 is on the back. I also love using this little nail brush just to brush away all of the dust after I've buffed them. When you are buffing them, just make sure you buff the corners as well really gently but this will just help prep the nail better. Then I also went ahead and pushed my cuticles back. So this has in here a no wipe top coat. Usually when you do gel to finish you usually just wipe off the sticky layer and then you're done but this as it mentions you don't need to do that. But what I am going to do first is actually something I do anyway and I just want to ensure my nail bed is really clean. So I'm just going to go in with this nail surface cleanse. I do have on my Amazon shop a product that's similar to this just to clean the nail bed. You could also just use an anti-back spray on a cotton pad to wipe all over. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that with a lint-free cotton pad. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm gonna choose my colors. So as I mentioned, these ones here, so these six are all glitters. I think I'm gonna do something semi-Christmassy for now that I saw on Pinterest, like a take on it. These are the colors I'm gonna go for. The middle two are the glitters. You will need your LED or UV lamp. I do have a couple of really affordable UV lamps linked on my Amazon shop as well. The first step is to put on your base coat and you're gonna cure this for six seconds. Be sure to shake your polish as well. So this for me had a really nice thin long brush so it was easy to work with. 
the consistency of the base coat I would say was very thin compared to my professional base coat polishes. Next I'm going to go in with my colours. Again you're going to cure the coloured polishes for 60 seconds. A tip I do have when using, if you're using a lot of gel polish, Try not to place it near the light because it can cure the polish in the bottle and you don't want that. And also store it away when you're not using it, away from sunlight in a dark, dry place. Okay, this is one coat and I actually think it looks really good with one coat. The consistency is very thick. I don't know if it's because they're in the smaller bottles but it is relatively easy to work with however I would say if you're a beginner I would just wipe off as much as you can off the brush and just go with a light layer first and then go back in with your second layer to completely cover it. The glitter is gorgeous. The brush on the small ones is quite thick as well. Now I'm going to go back in with a second coat because I just always feel like even though it looks opaque it's just nice to finish it off with a second coat and then I will do this hand. For this finger here I'm going to add the glitter now I did think in the bottle this didn't look as opaque and it was a lot lighter so that's why I decided to do the pink, the cream pink first and then add this on just to help it look a bit more vibrant and then I've got the baby pink on my thumb as well. Okay, I would say this glitter is my least favourite to apply out of all of them. It is very thick and it kind of doesn't go on evenly because it's got a slight reddy pink undertone to it so it almost looks a tiny bit patchy. I would most probably if I was going to try this colour again I would do it on its own and see how it looked just without the other baby pink underneath but overall it is a pretty glitter. Finally let's go in with the top coat. This again you cure for 60 seconds in the lead light and then two minutes in a UV light. The top coat is much thicker than the base coat so it gives a nice glossy finish the brush is exactly the same okay that hand is done it's definitely set it does feel weird not wiping it though I think what I'm gonna do now is just do this hand and then I'll come back with my final thoughts on this Amazon gel kit so here is the finished look it's not a bad job I would just say overall the thickness of the coloured polishes and especially the glitters just make it that little bit harder to work with so I do advise wiping your brush as much as you can before painting it onto the nail. Also if you have short nails like me sometimes it is a little bit harder to work with a thicker more shorter brush especially with the consistency of the polish. So for me I would give this kit overall a solid 4.8 out of 5 upon first impression. I can't wait to try out some of the other colours and glitters and I just love the fact that for the price you do get a really great selection of colours and there's also different colour combination sets that you can purchase purchase as well and the fact that it comes with the base and top coat and you don't need to wipe the sticky layer off the top coat is pretty impressive for the price. So what do you guys think? I'd love to know if you've tried any of these colours out from this brand Lavender Violet. I will keep you updated with regards to how this wears so if it will wear two weeks and also how easy it is to remove especially the glitter on my ring finger and my middle finger. I have had this on for over a week and a half now and it's been wearing really well. I've had no chips, I've obviously just got a bit of growth but that is it. It still stayed really nice and shiny and I've been very happy 
with how it's been wearing overall. I will most probably update you on a YouTube story on how I found removing this but I just thought I would give you a little update before I ended this video. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you as part of the PBB community and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care guys, bye.